Hello guys, um, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to change the background image of your boot up screen or login screen We're on Google server. The first thing you want to do, it's not a necessity but it makes it will make it look a lot nicer, you should probably do this with all backgrounds you get as well, is make sure that the image is the same screen resolution. So what you want to do is right click on your background then go to screen resolution. Right here it will tell you your current screen resolution that you're using at the moment. There is another way of doing this by going to your internet browser and going to www.whatismyscreenresolution.com and that will tell you what your screen resolution is. You either want to write that down or to keep that open for reference. Okay, to find the image, you want to go onto Google Images and we're going to be using the advanced image search to do this just so we get the right type of thing. So you want to type in what you're searching for. I'm going to go for beer. And then image size going exactly. Now right here, you want to type in your resolution size. Mine was 1366 six, and 768. Also, we have to make sure that the file is a JPEG. Then once we've got the size, the file type and your search, you want to click search image. This will give you all the images which are JPEGs and of that same size. Okay, so I think that one will do. Make sure that you got the full image size and not the thumbnail. To save an image right click on it and then click save image as and we want to put this on our desktop just for now and rename it to background default with a capital D and make sure it's a JPEG file and then click save now we can close that and that. And then we want to go into our registry editor. So go onto the Windows startup thing and type in reg edit, one word, and then click on that. Yes, please. Now you've got to be careful with this because it can get messy. But there's a directory you want to get to. Which. Sorry. <coughs> Uh, which is H key local machine, then software, then Microsoft, then all the way down to Windows, then authentication, then login UI, and background. And once you're here, you want to right click on this bit, new, D word, and you want to make sure you name this O. E M capitals capital B the background and background. Once you've done that you wanna click off then double click and enter the value in as one. Then you can close this. I'm going to go open my computer and go all the way into another directory where we're going to put things. So, local disk, Windows, System 32, O O B E. info, that's not going to be there so we're going to need to create that which is right click new folder we want to open that right click new folder again we want to call this one backgrounds 
all lowercase and then this is where you want to put our image so once it's on the dra back uh, desktop just plonk your image in there and make sure you're an admin if you're trying to do this otherwise it won't work and then you got the background image default there and it should work I'm just going to test out to see if it works there we go you've got a customized screen well I hope you enjoy the video and good luck out